and welcome to another episode of Adventures in Underwater Florida. I'm your host, Brian Draper. Today we're going to be heading down to dive with Sea Dogs in New Smyrna Beach. Sea Dogs is the area's longest running dive charter company. They're not just a dive charter, they're a fully stocked dive shop. They offer sales, service, training, gear repair, tank fills, everything you can think of. They're just top notch guys. We're gonna be going out on their 31 foot custom built Morgan Dive Charter boat and heading out of Ponce Inlet Pass. The site we're gonna be going to is a very well known site in the area. It's USS Minadano. This site is located 10 and a half miles offshore in about 85 to 95 feet of water. A little bit about the Minadano. It was commissioned in 1943 and was soon assigned to the South Pacific to support the Navy's wartime efforts. It was used as an internal combustion engine repair ship. In 1946, the ship was decommissioned and placed in mothballs. It was deployed to its current site in 1980. Upon being deployed, the ship broke in two. In 1995, Hurricane came through and moved the sections of the ship further apart. They're about 65 feet apart now, bow and stern. There's a heavy gauge rope going between the sections, so if you're going down on the bow, follow this rope over to the stern and vice versa. Since we're so close to the Gulf Stream, conditions are going to vary. I would recommend during summer a 3 mil full wetsuit, during winter a 5 mil full wetsuit. You may be able to get by with a skin during the summer, however commission to, uh, conditions do change dramatically. Contact Sea Dogs, let, uh, let them know, plan on coming down, they'll recommend what to bring. They have a full set of rental gear also, so can't figure out what to bring, don't worry about it, they can rent it to you. This site, I would suspect we'll find things like grouper, barracuda, lionfish, since this is on the Atlantic, as well as dolphins and a whole host of other marine life. So I'll catch back with you down below. Here we see a large school of spot-tail pinfish, also referred to as spot-tail grunt. Visibility at the site was pretty low today. At 45 feet, we encountered a thermal climb that dropped temperatures 10 degrees and visibility from 60 to 70 feet down to 8 to 10 feet. Here we have a porkfish and a small damsel. Port side gunnel, we encounter a large group of Atlantic spade fish. Having this artificial reef, we encountered several large amberjack. While cruising along the deck at 65 feet, we encounter a small group of pork fish. And here we have a queen angel darting into the hole entering the ship's interior. Returning to the port side, we encounter a school of tightly packed Atlantic spade fish, common to subtropical reefs of the Florida coast. Inside the stern of the wreck, we see large groups of spot tail grunts, as well as a few pork fish and a bunch of juvenile grouper. Here we have a nice example of fire coral. Amongst the coral, we see the rope that leads between the bow and stern section, sections of the ship. Here's a nice group of porkfish and grunts. Here we have a pretty little damselfish. Upon ascending from the depths up to our safety stop, 
we rise above the thermal climb and come back into the warm clear water reaching visibility again in the 60 to 70 foot range hello and welcome back to the post dive briefing for the minadano we saw a wide array of marine life as you can probably tell the visibility wasn't the greatest on the wreck at depth the temperature was about 72 degrees and visibility was about in spots as good as 12 to 15 feet in other spots as bad as four to five feet bring a strong light you'll find those fish you'll see them the site's also very popular for spearfishing. Sea Dogs Morgan uh, dive charter boat got us out there in probably about 30 to 40 minutes. So it was a great ride out there. Top notch guys. I just can't say enough about them. Once again, I'll catch back with you. In the next episode, till then, stay safe, keep diving.